Hi, welcome to the latest Blue Lens. This time I focus on China and, and a little bit the US actually. There's this view that China inevitably will be the world's largest economy. And in many ways that's probably true, but there is, I think, some important questions about the timeline for that to happen. Um, the prospect of China, in my view, being larger than the US by 2030 actually is, is pretty small. Everything has to go effectively perfectly for China and a lot actually has to go wrong for the, for the US. And even for China to be larger than the US by 2050, I think the cards still have to fall in China's favour. China's dealing particularly in the short term with an important credit issue domestically. The private sector was reliant on the shadow banking system to pr effectively provide credit. Um, with the crackdown on shadow banking over the past few years, that's brought forward this policy task of trying to get a banking sector which historically has focused largely on the SOEs to, to start providing credit to the private sector. That will be very difficult, I think. Secondly, of course, exports have been the second main driver of Chinese growth over the past few decades. Um, and trade tensions obviously have escalated the past year or so between not just China and the US, but also I think other countries are just looking more skeptically at trade. And the third issue is demographics. China's working age population has been falling for the past few years. One of the big sources of Chinese growth the past couple of decades has been effectively taking um, rural workers, um, moving them to the cities, supplying them with capital and machinery and making them much more efficient. Now when that process happens, they'll leave behind um, emptier cities and underfunded pension schemes. And the demographic transition the next couple of years, actually, the next decade is going to be uh, extremely disruptive, I think, for some areas of the Chinese economy. China is likely to continue to grow well above world rates for quite a few years, but I think it will increasingly gravitate towards normal rates of growth, normal as we think about them globally. Um, that means it will probably be larger than the US, but um, much further out in the future. <music>